I want to talk with you about annotations, when to use annotations and how to do it in, in Universal Analytics and also in Go Analytics 4, the last version of Go Analytics. So let's say if you run a new ad campaigns or new letter release or you have a new press release or your website is down, all those kind of things can affect your traffic. Okay, so right now, if it's happened now, happening now, you will remember, you, you know it. Okay, but if you look back on your data a week ago, a month ago, and a few months ago, you won't remember if you don't keep tracking of that activity. Okay, that's why we use the annotations. In Universal Analytics, if you click here in this little arrow, okay, you have the option to create an annotation. Let's say this is my new campaign. I can choose the date here. Okay, choose this one. And it's showing here this little icon. You see? You can close it. Okay, and it's open it. Okay. This is how Google Analytics did it. Okay. If you want, you can also uh, upload CSV. You can add annotations from the tools you work with. Okay, let's say you work with Slack, uh, Asana, Trello, Bitbucket, okay, new version, a lot of things. Almost any tool you want, you can send annotations to Google Analytics. You can also automate annotations for holidays, uh, website monitoring, there are a lot of things, it's using this extension. Just let me show you how it works. We need to install the extension, it's very easy. Okay, just click here, add to Chrome, add extension. And you will see here now the icon. Okay. You need to click here in the puzzle. This is all my extensions and pin the extension, this one. Okay, you see the icon? Here you have a little uh, get it started if you need. I will just show you. I will go to Go Analytics. I will click on the extension. I already have an account. If you haven't, you will need to register. Okay, this is my extension. And this is the platform of the annotations. Those are all my annotations. You can see here I have website monitoring, my site was down, I have retail marketing dates, okay, reminders. I will also get an email before to get it ready for that day. Uh, WordPress updates, Google updates that may affect my SEO. Okay, for all this you have here automations, okay, that you can just active with the, this little button okay weather alerts if you need you can choose the events and for integrations you can integrate with mailchimp with the shopify adwords slack asana jira trilo anything you want you connect your tools using zapier okay to send notations let me show you how it works This is a news letter. Let's call it the annotation so you can see. In your annotation. You can add a link if you want. Okay. Let's choose the date. Let's choose. Okay. You can select properties. You can invite your team. It's a lot of options. Let's just do this one. Okay, we see it here, it's at the date, here, this one, okay? So let's go to the analytics, it's already showing, I see. Ah, it's showing the, the, other, the other annotations, okay? So let's refresh, it will show here. Okay, it's finishing loading. We have the red dot here, you just click on it, okay, and here is our annotation, okay, in instead this little icon, it's showing here on the graph, you can see the annotations in any graph, 
Okay, so let's go to Google Analytics 4. It's already here, you see. Okay. Even if you change your graph or anything, it will adapt and it will work very good. here so this is how you how you do it okay it will show in all all the pages in all the graphics and you can just add annotations manually you can uh, upload a csv if you want you can automate annotation and all the time there are new options here you can integrate and you have the settings you can work you can add properties you can add your analytics accounts if you want uh, you can have users. Okay, thank you.